boy. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I've wanted to do one of these for a little while, um, and I've got some things that I've really been excited about recently, um, so I figured I'd get into um, some of those today. So, in no particular order, okay, um, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is this candle from Southern Firefly Company. Um, it's in the scent Hazelnut Coffee. And let me tell you, it smells like a coffee shop. For sure. I can smell it from, like, here. The scent throw of this candle is crazy, and as you can see, I've about used the entire thing. Um, <laughs> that's because I've been using it every morning. I've been lighting the candle, making a cup of coffee, and just sitting there and enjoying the two together um, with my breakfast, and it's it's great. Um, apparently, these are hand poured in Nashville, Tennessee, so that's pretty cool. Um, go Nashville, <laughs> but um, it's it's really just a good candle. It burns incredibly evenly. Like, look at this. I've used that so much, and it's it literally it's flat. No, none of this and uh, it's really really good um, I highly think that it's worth the price it was a little expensive for a candle but let me tell you the amount of times I've used it how evenly it burns how you can smell it without it even being lit from like like about that far away um, and it, and the way it fills up the entire room and how genuinely it smells like coffee is crazy. Um, so yeah, that's the Southern Firefly Candle Company Hazelnut Coffee Candle. Been loving it. I call it my coffee candle and I light it every morning. Um, but yeah, um, Earth Therapeutics Refreshing Green Tea Mask. This is something I've been, uh, I guess, loving for a long period of time. Um, the first... The first thing I got of these was like a five pack, and I think it was from Kohl's. Maybe it was from Amazon. But then I saw them at Kohl's, and they're more expensive, and they're only sold in a one pack, um, as far as I know, at Kohl's. And I haven't been able to find them on Amazon again. But um, I really like this sheet mask. It's soft, moisturized. Like, I, I feel like my skin is very moisturized after I use this. And it says soothing on there. I think that's true. Um, hydrating. I think that's true. I don't know about revitalizing. Eh, whatever. But, um, green tea is good for your skin and the ingredients are actually pretty good too. Because it's, it's, it starts with water and then glycerin and then panthenol. I'm not really sure what that is, but I could look it up. And then the fourth ingredient is green tea leaf extract. So you're getting, a, like, that's pretty dang high on the ingredient list. And then there's, like, five more. It's got alatoin, ben, bentane, hydrolyzed collagen, marine collagen. It says that on the package. Um, and then some other things like sodium hyaluronate. Oh, my gosh. Hy hyaluronate. Hyaluronate. There we go. Sodium hyaluronate um, and hydrogenated castor oil. Now that's just some of the things. It does have fragrance in here. It doesn't smell that strongly and it smells pretty uh, light and refreshing. So for that I think it's fine and uh, I don't know. It just feels really nice. It will still run um, but it's not like water consistency. It's a little bit thicker than that. Um, I've used these for, I think, a few years now. Um, but yeah, like them. I also um, got these from Kohl's. Is the Wright's Apothecary Just Relax Peppermint Kiss Scented Moisturizing Body Wash and Lotion with Hemp Seed Oil in it. Um, these smell so nice. And I also have the, the scrub, but I didn't bring that in here because it's 
very watery. It's it's in a tube, and it's filled with water also, the bottom of it. Um, and the bottom of it's filled with water. I didn't bring the t But these smell really good. I've had them for about two weeks, probably. And, uh, it's sm they smell strong, I'll tell you that. They smell strong. Um, but in a good way, like it, like when you pump this in the shower, like it fills up the shower with a nice pepperminty, eucalyptus-y smell. Um, it, it kind of almost tingles a little bit on your skin. Um, the wash, not the lotion. Um, and they just, they just feel really nice. Um, they smell really nice too. I actually have two snack food favorites. Um, they're for my sweet tooth and um, the first one is these um, lemon cookies, lemon cream cookies um, from the brand Dare. Now you can find these at Big Lots, but let me tell you, they are so good. I also, um, I tried the lemon Oreo. These are better. These are better. And these are the type of thing that I cannot keep in the house because I will eat a box a day. This is a new box to replace the, the last box that I devoured. These are absolutely delicious. If you have a sweet tooth and you're looking for something that has a nice light flavor, it's not too sweet, um, give these a try. They're delicious. And then I also have the creme, creme de pyroline. Pyroline? Creme de pyroline. Um, <laughs> cream filled wafer uh, cookies. They're like these little um, straw things and this is also a new pack because I have gone through, I've eaten these for a very long time. This is a recent favorite and I've only gotten through, I've gone through one box, one box entirely of this and this is my second box. Um, these I've loved for also probably a few years um, and they're really good. I've, the vanilla ones are good. Now they have strawberry ones. They also have chocolate hazelnut, which I really want to try. But the dark chocolate is, mmm, it's mmm, <laughs> and uh, these are also at Big Lots. I've also gotten these at like Kroger and Walmart and stuff as well, so yeah. Okay, so I got these um, uh, by a recommendation from I think Hannah Bakes, something like that on YouTube. Um, and she called these like a um, dupe. Let me check real quick. Let me see if I can find it quickly because I don't want to run out of footage. Space. Hannah. Oop. No, I don't want to upgrade to YouTube uh, premium. Yeah. All right. Hanny Bakes. Yes, Hannah Bakes. Um, I think it's Hannah Baker. But anyway, she um, recommended these on her YouTube channel from Amazon. And she called them Gymshark Legging Dupes, which they are. Um, they have like a little bit of beading, or um, I don't know what you'd call that. But it's got like this detail that goes throughout the legging, under your butt, obviously, and then it comes up again by your knees, and it fills out the rest of the legging that way. Um, they are super, super comfortable, and they look cute on this, I like this pink, pink color a lot that I got, um, I've ordered the blue ones as well, um, but they're gonna take a minute to come in. Um, and they make your butt look good, eh? Um, they're really cute because of that subtle detail. Um, and they're a dupe, they're a pretty good dupe for Gymshark leggings, I think. Um, they have the same vibe that nowhere on them do they claim to be Gymshark, but they have that same vibe. The tag is a little long, but I keep it so I know which side is the back, because <laughs> they look very similar. And it has like the diamond crotch, so 
um, not a whole lot of problems um, in in the crotch area with um, with that diamond stitch. So they are just very super duper comfortable. I've I've literally worn these pretty much every chance that I get. Um, <laughs> To wear them, I've put them on at the house, like changing out of pajamas and putting on leggings and a t-shirt. I literally, like the waistband is nice and high on your waist and it's really thick so they don't move around, you don't have to keep pulling them up. Um, you don't, you really don't have to adjust them at all once you get them on. They just stay put and they're extremely comfortable. Um, so yeah. They're also like a little bit of that like squishy material. I don't know how to describe that, but um, it's it's like a little bit squishy. Um, so yeah, very comfortable. I've been loving these. Wearing them pretty much every chance that I get. And another thing that I've been wearing like a lot, a lot, are these little um, pearl clips um, that I got from Buckle. Um, they're little teeny tiny things. Um, you can see it better against my hair. Um, I have a light like down there, so shadow. Um, but I've just been using these on days where I like don't want to do my bangs at all, which has been a lot recently. Um, and it looks really just really cute like like uh, like that. Obviously my bangs are done so they don't look that good today, but um, I, that's just how I've been wearing them. Also, I've done it on the top of my head, like this, and uh, that's okay too. It's usually just because I don't have, uh, or because like these are the closest clips, but um, it does look pretty cute that way too, and I've just been wearing these a crap ton recently, um, and I've not been wanting to do my bangs most of the time. I actually just recently, like trimmed them a little bit and I need to do it more because they were so long um, that I cut off the usual amount and they're still too long. I got these delivered um, in the mail and I absolutely love them. And these are the Steve Madden um, travel sandals. I got, my, got these in the color tan and I had a coupon code as well so they weren't um, as expensive. But they are just so darn cute and they are a dupe for I believe like some type of Valentino rock stud sandal um they don't look exactly I don't know what the real ones look like they don't look exactly the same probably but um these are just very very cute and they have the three straps on the front can you is it focusing they have three straps on the front um that go over your foot and then this makes like a little cross and there's a spot um, for them, for the back ends to cross over and not mess up any studs. And then it wraps around your foot again and buckles and they're just adorable. They're just really adorable. And it's got these little stud details along the side as well, which I thought was a really neat little um, addition that kind of makes the bottom of the sandal match the rest of the sandal. And uh, I have some clips of me wearing them on my feet as well and uh, I will put those in. Um, but yeah, I have gotten these very recently, but I've already worn them uh, quite a bit for having them for about two days. <laughs> and uh, I have no doubt that these are going to be some of the sh most worn shoes of the spring for me because I think they're that adorable. And they're also pretty comfy. The sole of it is, uh, is squishy. So, yeah. And another thing that I've been um, really loving is this pajama set from Victoria's Secret. Um, I've had them for a little while now and I, every time I put these on, 
Um, I have the long sleeve shirt and it's a little wrinkly because uh, I do sleep in it and yeah and it's silk um, but then I also have the shorts here I have the black shorts um, so a little bit of a color reverse there but I've really just been they, they make but I've really just been wearing these um, sometimes even if I have slept in um, something else I will put these on and then just lay around the house in them I really like to put these on after I've just had um, a really nice bath with some candles lit and a bath bomb and then I just lather on some really nice lotion possibly this one <laughs> and then I just stick these on and do my skincare and it just feels like so luxurious and they're so soft it's like a thick silk and I don't know it just adds a it just adds a little bit of bougie to my uh, daily life or my sleep or or pamper time or whatever um, but yeah they just make me feel really nice um, and a little bit bougie and they're silk so they're good for your skin and they're really comfortable too so been really loving those. <laughs> and finally, I got these at a um, thrift store a few months ago, and they are the um, Kate Spade like bow earrings in rose gold. Let me just see if I can. It was wanting to focus over here on my face. But these are just really, really cute. Um, they're in a little bow, um, and I've worn them so much that I broke the plastic part. That I broke the plastic part off of one of these um, on the back. So I'm gonna have to replace the ear, um, replace the earring backs to these um, because it <laughs> because the back of it did break. But um, been wearing these so much I hardly took them out of my ears for a few months. Another recent favorite of mine has been um, like this V um, jewelry set in a gold color from Amazon. They are really quite quite beautiful. Um, it's all it's gold plated. I don't know how well that lasts um, in terms of in the shower because I haven't worn them in the shower. Um, but they haven't turned anything green. <laughs> They're like a, a dupe for the Louis Vuitton V jewelry, um, that's about like 400 and something dollars per item. But I just have been wearing the earrings, um, and the bracelet, um, really a lot actually. Like, I've been wearing the earrings non-stop since I got them. They, um, aren't very overwhelming. And I don't think that you would necessarily think Louis Vuitton when you see them, but this nice little, like, V shape is really cute, and it, it's pretty, like, dainty on the wrist, on the neck, um, even in your ear a little bit. Now, I will say that the earring is on, um, one side, so, like, it rotate. this is the side with the post in it. Um, and it does like sometimes rotate around like that. So it's not, it doesn't stay in a V the whole time, but I mean, that doesn't look bad either. It's kind of just like a geometric earring design at that point. And that is it, you guys. That's everything that I've really been loving for a little while now, um, I would say. <laughs> right around quarantine-ish time. I don't know if I should call these quarantine favorites or not because let me know if you've been loving anything as well in the comments. Um, tell me what it is, why you like it, whatever. Um, let me know if you try any of these and that's it. See you next time. Bye!